before we speak boxing, let's talk about SBM. Speak with money, the channel that I created. Um, am I an analyst? Am I a pro? Am I a boxing fanatic? Absolutely not. I'm just a fan. I'm an average drum. I'm just a fan. I watch boxing. Thought of it just as a hobby. SBM is just a hobby. This is not my full time. I can't, you know, this is not my bread and butter. I don't operate my own business. But anyways, as a hobby, I always watch boxing, get friends and family. We always host big events and the, the big boxing fights. Um, try to go live. As recent, we're going live on all the boxing fights. Um, where do we watch all the boxing fights at? I know a lot of people are asking. Um, we watch it at the boxing house. Yep, we watch it at the boxing genius house. We actually been watching boxing. George, the boxing genius, that's my father. Um, since I was a little kid, at all everything, all the events since, you know, uh, Evander Holyfield um, taking on George Foreman. I remember that watching that as a little kid, watching Tyson fight, um, watching all these fighters, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, Hector Macho Camacho. Um, even in high school, when I was watching um, the Prince Nassim, that was that's that's my that's my dude right there. But anyway, it's just just watching that tradition always stood, always tradition always stuck. You know, I can watch the, the fight sometimes at my house, but we, we gather up as friends, bo boxing fans, true boxing fans have been watching boxing for God knows how long, and we sit there and we, we, we talk boxing. So we've, we, you know, George the Boxing Genius, he leans towards more Pacquiao, I lean towards another fighters, and we always um, clash heads and stuff like that, but we're, we're going to start putting that on film. Um, people find that entertainment, me and him arguing back and forth, some people get tired. Um, but it's it's entertainment. We got to catch it on there on who we feel is the best fighter out there. But anyways, um, we're actually gonna have a, a good event. We're actually gonna host it live. Um, we're gonna have a lot of people um, that I'm gonna interview, give their fight predictions as far as Miguel Cotto and the Austin Trout. No bandwagons over here. I'm not jumping on the bandwagon. We're gonna give facts. We're gonna give true fight predictions. There's a lot of boxing channels out there that like to play it safe. I'm not trying to play it safe. So am I always right all the time? Absolutely not. But you know what? It's a fight prediction. It's just my opinion. That's it and how I see it. Um, I see a lot of people are wrong as far as their fight predictions as well, how, as far as how they see it go down. But you know what? If you can back it up with facts and you can, you know, make a little bit of sense, then I'm all for it. Even though that you're wrong, I, it's still respectable and, you, you know, you're, you're entitled to your own opinion. But anyway, we're going to have, I'm going to go watch it one more time. We're actually going to go live. Um, we're going to go live throughout the whole entire night, round for round. So it'll be exciting. We're going to try to twist it up. We're going to do different things. Um, you know, the boxing genius, we're going to have two different teams. And um, we're actually going to have a championship belt of our own um, between the other, the other uh, uh, people like the boxing genius. We're going to um, introduce people to the channel um, that wants to get involved in the SBM channel and have a championship belt. Usually the one who uh, is more accurate and more precise is... Um, the fights is going, and their predictions actually gets the title holding the belt. So that's gonna be that's gonna be top. You know, it's gonna be two. Whoever holds that belt knows boxing as far as when it comes to the SBM family. But anyways, let's talk about boxing. Let's talk about Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto's 37-3. He's 30. He has 30 KOs. He's the you know this guy's the former four-time world champion. He's fought in Madison Square Garden a lot of times. He fought back here. You know, um, is that you know is that a real window? No, that's just a mural in my office. That's all that is. That's just. Uh, mural and you know there's no windows or anything like that up here in the second floor but I decided to put put that up but anyways um he has a winning streak this guy's known to uh to to have the fans out there hispanic community has a hispanic backing out there and he has a little winning streak going on out there and and austin trout is could austin trout fall into it and just add on to his winning streak austin trout i thought he's actually the he has the middle championship belt on the line um, but Miguel Cotto definitely has the home field advantage, and the odds are against uh, Austin Trout when it comes to home field. Um, now, Miguel's been doing his damn thing in New York and Madison Square Garden for a long time, uh, with exception to the blowout against Yuri Foreman, where it took place in, in, in Yankee Stadium. I was, I was this close, this close to getting into the fight. I actually had an installation over there at, uh, in New York, over there in the Hamptons, and I was driving my ass all the way up to uh, to Yankee Stadium to watch the fight, but it was completely sold out. Completely sold out. I was scrambling so much trying to get a ticket and trying to go attend that fight that all the hotels and everything was sold out and I had to sleep in my car. But anyways, let's, let's talk about that. Let's not talk about that whatsoever. But when, when Cotto comes to New York, Cotto comes to New York, there's Puerto Rican flags everywhere. Hispanic community is sick. 
You know, you see it on TV, you see it on HBO, you see it on Showtime, you see it on pay-per-view, but when you're physically there and you see the backing that Cotto has and the impact that he has in New York, it's, it's, it's great for boxing. They definitely, um, you enjoy the sport a lot more. That's big, you know, as you can add to the wing streak. Um, but I'm complete. this whole entire fight, and I respect Cotto. Cotto has been always a fighter that uh, he's never ducking and dodging anybody. He's a serious professional fighter, and, you know, he dresses up, he plays the role, and he just, he... he Hands down, he definitely goes down on books for one of the best fighters out there um, in the community and not just that, in the boxing community as a whole. Um, he's done a lot. He's faced the best. He completely has faced the best. Um, but I'm surprised by this contract. You know, he has a multi-million dollar contract lined up next year to take on Saul Canelo. He's hungry. Uh, he beat Shane Mosley. He beat he defeated Josita Lopez. He's completely dominated. He's breaking into the top pound for pound list and he's making noise. So that's a big fight for Miguel Cotto and for him to take up and take on Austin Trout. Don't get me wrong, Austin Trout's not a is no joke. You know, my favorite goes to Miguel. My favorite Austin Trout. You know, Austin Trout. He's 25 and 0. He's 14 KOs. He is the current WBA junior middleweight champion. Um, he had a victory over Rodriguez. And that's the best victory that he ever had in his career. That was the toughest fight. Um, when Rodriguez was definitely no slouch. You know, he's not a slouch. He wasn't no walkover. You know, it was definitely, it was a, he, he's a tough fighter. But Cotto has beaten a dozen guys, if not a handful of guys that were better than Rodriguez. Not even close to the caliber. Um, so Rodriguez, you know, Austin Trout definitely uh, had some problems with Rodriguez. But he completely, he won that fight, you know. Um, many give Trout a, a pretty good shot in beating Cotto. A lot of people arguably say, you know what, Trout has a big chance, and I, I completely agree. Um, now, Miguel Cotto, he, he's, he's still considered my best top pound-for-pound pound of the world in that weight division at 154. Um, Cotto, Cotto, think about it. He has a couple losses, but, you know, respectably lost, respectable losses. He lost to Antonio Margarito. Um, there was a hand wrap situation there. Um, as far as him loading the hand wraps, do I believe? There's, there's really no facts or anything like that, but I completely believe why would he... You know, why would he load his wraps against Sugar Shane Mosley? Um, but he didn't load his wraps against one of the biggest fights at the time, Miguel Cotto, when he was undefeated. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, so I, I honestly think that the hand wraps... Well, anyways, it was completely squashed when Cotto actually rematched and completely dominated and, 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 and set, set it straight. Um, so that was... The, and it, it, he fought in our air. Cotto has lost to the biggest, biggest in her air, the biggest boxers out there in her air, which is Manny Pacquiao and, and Floyd Mayweather Jr., and completely, completely gave him a run for her money. Yeah, for the money, they definitely had to both dig deep. Um, I remember uh, Manny Pacquiao's ear was like this. He took some clean shots. It was at 147. A lot of people um, saying that it was at, at, at 147 uh, drain, Cotto drain. I, I completely agree as far as Cotto's a different fighter at 154 than 147. But that's still not an excuse because, you know, 147 at Cotto. Cotto had no problems making 447. Um, I still, he, I think he looked good, but I think he was just overwhelmed by Manny Pacquiao's speed and power. You know, so that's definitely not an excuse. But the two fighters that he did lose to are the, you know, arguably, and it's still going to go down in the record books. Who's the best in boxing? A lot of people are going to say it's going to be a fight as far as you know Mayweather ducking and dodging, Pacquiao stare like that so May, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Manny Pacquiao that's always going to go down in the record books to if they don't fight it's going to be arguably one of the, the it's going to it's going to be a tough debate as far as who is the best boxer in this air um but anyways um that's who Cotto has lost to now to compare him to Austin Trout you know Floyd Mayweather Jr. Austin Trout Austin Trout's a hell of a fighter, but he's considered a whole different, he's on a whole different caliber, you know, he's not an A-list fighter, he's not a B-list fighter, he's, you know, he's B-ish, you know, he's a whole different tier of fighters, um, and uh, to my knowledge, as far as, um, as far as Cotto's training, Cotto's training, got, got a new trainer, he's looking better and better, he's going back to the whole Cotto days, he's definitely killing the body, absolutely killing the body, he's getting, his endurance is getting a lot better, and his combinations look absolutely sick. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna play it safe, and that's one thing about SBM boxing. When we get a fight, safe. I'm not gonna sit here and say, you know what, Austin Trout. This is, you know, Austin Trout has the height advantage. 25 and 0. He's younger. He's 27 years old. Good against Rodriguez. He has the reach. As far as his speed, I think he's possibly a little bit. Photo. Um, but. Um, as far as experience, he doesn't have the experience. But then he had Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto definitely has the power, and 
the experience and he definitely knows how to work the ring and he knows and I can sit here and go for days to day and just play it safe and just tell you you know what um, Austin Trout could win but Cotto could win by doing this but Cotto could win but he also could lose by this and just shut the hell up and just end my end my fight prediction it's just uh, look when I watch YouTube I want to watch I want to I see fight predictions give me my fight prediction jump off a cliff you know let me know exactly what you think back it up and if you're wrong you're wrong uh, my fight predictions no bandwagon over here. If Austin Trout wins, I'm going to tell you I want Miguel Cotto, hands down. Um, if Austin Trout wins, you know, it's it, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Austin Trout, you know, he's 25. You know, he's not. He's 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 not. You know, he's a champ, and he, he must have did something right. But anyways, my fight prediction: I think Cotto's going to win. I think Cotto's going to outbox him. He's going to outclass him. Um, do I think he's going to knock out Austin Trout? I don't think the knockout's going to happen. I think Austin, I think this is going to go to the scorecards. Um, I think it's going to be a unanimous decision. I think Miguel Cotto's going to come out with a victory. Um, Austin, you know, as far as the game plan, Austin might take. Um, Austin Trout might might take a more, more of a margarito approach. You know, I see him pressing, see him pressing, pre-impressing, pre-impressing. Um, and I think that's the approach that he's going to take. He's going to take more of a margarito approach. As far as the Mayweather, I don't see Austin Trout trying to box him or anything like that. If he tries to out, if he tries to outbox um, Miguel Cotto and just be more on the defense, he's going to get caught. He's going to get caught a lot. Um, um, so I, I think uh, Austin Trout's definitely going to bring the fight. He's going to bring the fight to Miguel Cotto. He's going to press him, and we'll see how it goes. You know, um, Miguel Cotto. I hope his endurance is there because I know Austin Trout's going to last all twelve. He's ready to fight all twelve rounds. Um, Austin Trout, he definitely has power on both hands. Um, he has the, the reach advantage. Um, his speed is that a lot of people are, you know, a lot of people are telling me Austin Trout's slow and Miguel Cotto, this guy's not slow. Austin Trout's pretty quick. Um, and he looks good. He definitely looked good, definitely against the Rodriguez in the last three fights that he had. So, um, it's going to be a good fight. My fight predictions, Kenneth SB in boxing, um, Miguel Cotto. Um, but anyways, guys, give me some, give me some of your fight predictions, you know, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and watch the... The weigh-in, see how that goes. Um, do you guys, are you guys going for Austin Trout? Are you guys going for Mago Cotto? Let's see. Take it easy. Have a good